There's a lot of debate out there between which style of chipping is best. Is having a steep angle of attack better than having a shallow angle of attack? Which feel is right? Which shot is right? These are the things that we're gonna take a look at in this video and help you figure out which shot is best for you. So before I throw my hat in the ring and start talking about technique and which style I like best when it comes to pitching and chipping the golf ball, I think it's important to remember that when we're chipping and pitching the golf ball, there's a lot of variability and we have to have the ability to hit a lot of different types of shots due to the fact that we find a lot of different conditions when we're chipping and pitching the golf ball. So is it that Joe Mayo is the most accurate when he talks about using a steep angle of attack or is it short game chef that has it best with a really shallow style to chipping and pitching the golf ball? And the answer is, I think they're both correct because we can still feel incredibly shallow while being incredibly steep. And what Joe really often alludes to is players with a double digit attack angle down and not hitting the turf, which is going to feel very, very shallow from the player's perspective. However, when we measure that on TrackMan, we know that that angle of attack is double digits down, even though it feels very shallow because we're not having that collision with the ground. So long story short, I think that there's room for everybody in this space because of the variability. But one thing that gets said a lot in this conversation that drives me a little bonkers is how a shallow angle of attack is going to cause the least amount of digging. And there's the least amount of chance to have a big monumental crash before the ball with the ground, with the golf club, prior to impact, if I have a shallower angle of attack. And honestly, they're correct. If I take the golf club and I keep it very close to the ground and make a very wide frontal plane arc, I can see that the chances of me sticking this into the ground are very, very low, and that's wonderful. So if I'm a really, really bad chipper and pitcher of the golf ball, who is constantly hitting the ground before the ball, I hate to tell that person, but they're actually too shallow. And the idea that they're too steep and trying to keep the club lower is only leading to more issues for them. So what actually happens is, in theory, the wider arc width and the lower arc height definitely create the best option for never hitting the ground, but that doesn't also create the best opportunity for hitting the best wedge shot. So yes, it raises our floor significantly. However, it completely lowers our ceiling, and now we don't have the option to hit anything other than a very protected shot. So if I need to hit a nipper and get something to spin and stop on the green and create spin, I'm not going to be able to do it with that shot. And that's where I think the people that tend to kind of drag the wedge low and wide tend to really struggle a lot when they get into different types of lies in different situations to where we need to minimize the interference between the club face and the golf ball. So being able to, instead of keep it super low and wide, trying to pick it up and create a little more VSP, which is vertical swing plane so that I can create more AOA or angle of attack is always going to be helpful for those that need to create more spin around the greens. And not only spin, but for those that are hitting it fat as well, once again, if I'm hitting behind the ball, that's not because I'm too steep, that's because I'm too shallow. So most people generally are going to see improvement from learning how to make this, the pitching and chipping motion a little steeper instead of trying to make it shallower. So I agree that I think the best players in the world feel very shallow with a very steep angle of attack because of the lack of interaction with the ground. But in reality, through measuring myself and by seeing other people's results, I know that steep angles of attacks also can feel very shallow. However, we need to learn how to create a more vertical swing plane so that we can create more spin so our better golfers have a better chance of creating an optimal shot and not just reducing the risk of a catastrophic shot. So we hope you found this helpful. If you have any thoughts or opinions on this, which I'm sure you do, please let us know in the comment section. We'll be happy to talk about it. 
and make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss one of our new videos. So thanks so much again, and until next time, keep grinding.